Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a quick tutorial. Today what I'm going to show you uh, to do is basically put an image inside of text using Adobe Illustrator. So let's go, go ahead and open up our Illustrator real quick and we'll just wait for it to load. Everything that you'll need is in the description of what I'm going to use and there's a text font family website that you can go to and download um, a bunch of text and you can use that text. So yeah. Now we have our Adobe Illustrator opened up. Let me just I'm waiting for it to load. Go to File, New, and go ahead and when it opens up, go ahead and name it whatever you want and type your size in of the project that you want. And after that, just click OK. Just making sure real quick. Sure for me. Okay, so as soon as your new board is open, go ahead and click on the rectangle tool and draw your rectangle from the edge, from the left corner edge to the right, all the way at the end to the right. So like I've been doing. And after you've drawn that, go on your color and change the color to black. After that, you're gonna have to go on your layers panel. Uh, you can enable it. I'll show you how to enable it. Just give me a second. So just click these. Make two layers. Or here you go. You scroll down. And make sure you enable your layers. Your transparency has to be enabled as well. Sorry about this guys. The audio and the recording messed up. So I have to re-record the audio. And then make your two layers. Rename that text. And rename it, rename that image. Now go ahead and choose your text and type it in. And I'm gonna change my text after this. I didn't like it. Uh, your text color has to be white. The white is the only thing that's going to get colored in by this. So, warning, one step ahead of time, make sure your text is white. Type your text, type whatever you want, your sentence. I'm going to be doing this quick thing just for my channel and my team speak. Don't, don't, don't mess with it like that. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, go and expand it. I spelled department wrong, so I fixed it up <laughs> in about a little bit. Oh, right there, fixed it. And then I changed my text because it really didn't look all that nice. I changed it to Transformers the movie text. You can also download that from that font website that I'm gonna put in the description. So now we have our John done our text. Go ahead and click on image layer. And you're gonna go to file, place, and place. Well, find your image and then place it. So I keep my images in my pictures folder, and uh, let me just. I'm gonna choose an image real quick. So I end up choosing the f two fists. One is icy and one is fire. I'll show you. You can look these images up on Google. Basically, what I did. So this this image is huge as hell. I all I did was just crop like, just resize it to what I wanted it to be. And what you wanted it want it to be is to cover the text like that and completely uh, like resize it to the point where it's actually matching up to the corners or the sides of the um, square or the rectangle you made so now disable the opacity for the image click on your text click control C to copy uh, or you can go to edit and click copy from there 
and after that uh, do you do your opacity back for your image and undo your opacity for the text now click on your image now go to right there your transparency panel and click make opacity mask after you click that or it's just make mask after you clicked it you're gonna click on your black thing or your rectangle that's right onto the right of your image in that little box out now go to edit make sure that uh, box is click go to edit and paste in place after you paste it in place do not mess with it like I did just click on the uh, image again from down there and unlink it after that you can edit the size of the Im the size of the image and move the image inside the text to the very you like so after that what we're gonna do is just I'm gonna take off the black layer and save it as a PNG image and you can uh, what's it called crop it in Photoshop or you can crop it in illustrated by itself or the IMG GUR website that's down there it's I'll show you how to do it uh, right after it's done I already have the website loaded up and stuff so it's not a problem click on Google just click on computer and from there just find your image wherever you put your new text thing you made and start upload and go and edit image to the right you do not need an, you do not need an account for this and uh, resize it out or crop it out now apply and save now you could right click and download it also gives you a BB code and a HTML so you can put it on your website and stuff that'll be cool and save your image save it to your desktop and I'm just gonna delete my original one and thanks for watching hope you liked it and like subscribe comment whatever you want if you want any more tips just contact me in by the comments and uh, see you later guys